everybody and thank you for joining me, Krista, with Imagine That Scrapbooks and Gifts for ITTV week number five. We're so excited. We cannot believe we've already done five weeks of these. If you've missed the first four weeks, make sure to check them out on Facebook, YouTube, or our website and catch up on all the great tools, techniques, and products that we've used during the first four weeks. If you've joined us all five weeks, thank you so much, but don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel to make sure you catch all of the videos that we do. Well, in week number five, we're going to be playing with eyelets. Eyelets are a great embellishment to add to any project, whether it's a card, a scrapbook page, a tag, or even an altered art piece. We've got two great cards here, both using the same products and eyelets, but showing you different ways to use them. So make sure you watch the rest of the video. At the end of the video, we will have the products used, as well as card dimensions, and other great samples. But before we get started with the video, let's pick this week's um, winner of last week's ITTV Presents, week number four. And if you want to be a winner, make sure you comment on this week's video for your chance to be entered into your random name selector. And the winner for this week is Miss Linda Bates McCool. Congratulations. Don't forget to email us at imagine that scrapbooks at yahoo.com to claim your prize. And again, if you want to win a prize, make sure you comment on this week's video for your chance. All right, let's get started. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is playing with eyelets. Eyelets are a fun embellishment to add to any project, whether it's a card or a scrapbook page or a project. So there are a bunch of different types of eyelets on the market. Uh, two standard sizes, the 1 8 um, inch as well as the 3 16 So this here is a sample of the 1 8 inch. This one here is some mixed glitter, um, 3 16 center. So you can see the size difference between the two centers. But then there's also some fun eyelets on the market to include shapes, like this one here is balloons and footballs. So make sure you come and check out all the fun eyelet shapes. There are also a variety of ways you can set eyelets. Uh, we used to set eyelets with a hammer and an eyelet setting tool, but now there's uh, some great tools on the market to include the Fiskars eyelet setters. Now this one is a spring eyelet setter, so you're going to hold the base and pop it up. Still a little bit of a louder tool to use, but it does work great. My two favorite ones are actually the Crocodile by We Are Memory Keepers and the Crocodile Big Bite. The difference between these two tools is this one here has a one inch reach. Both of these tools can set a variety of sizes of eyelets. They come standard with the 1 8 inch as well as the 3 16 punches as well as the setters. If you see here where I'm squeezing, this is where you're going to punch your hole for your eyelet setting. And then this right here is where you're actually going to set your eyelet. Same thing with the big bite. If I push it all the way down, you can see where the first one is punching, the second one is punching, and then the third one is where I set it. The main difference between these two tools is this one does only have a one inch reach, so great for smaller projects, uh, cards, tags, things like that. The big bite has a six inch reach, therefore allowing you to go anywhere on a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. So what we've done on our card, here's the first one, and I set the eyelet right here on the flower, and this is just a fun Mother's Day card. But this one that I'm actually going to show in the class, we have set a couple of different eyelets. So we've got some up here, some of them I used with the crocodile, some of them with the big bite, depending on how far of a reach in I wanted. But this is what your eyelet's going to look like on the back, okay? So we're going to set our eyelet. The first thing we're going to do is this is a 3 16 inch eyelet. And you can normally tell by just flipping it over and seeing the size of the, the opening or the hole. So even though this already has a hole in it, it doesn't have big enough for my 3 16 So I'm going to punch it out a little. The great thing with the crop dials is you can punch through just about anything. You can do uh, paper, vellum, chipboard, bookboard tin, all sorts of different things. So now I'm going to build my paper flowers and push it right through. So there I have my eyelet. So now what I'm going to do is these bases here, the top and the base, allow you to switch for the different sizes. So you can set a variety of different of eyelets, um, snaps, grommets, small, um, tiny eyelets, all sorts of different things. I have it set for what I'm already going to be doing, but if I needed to rotate it, you're just going to pull it out and rotate whatever direction. Same thing with the base. 
So what we're going to do is I like to see that the top and the bottom are lined up and that makes sure that you smash your eyelet accordingly. So I can get all my flower petals out of the way. Okay, so once you get it in there, like I said, you just line up your top and your bottom and you squeeze. So there we have our set eyelet. Now here's a really fun little thing to do to dress up your eyelets a little bit more is I like to stick a brad in the center of them and that's just something fun to give you a little bit more dimension and texture. So we're going to open up our brad and there we have our eyelet flower. So now we're going to build our card. So our finished card is this one here. What I've done is already rounded the corners on this one so now we're needing to do that on this. Another one of my favorite tools is the Crocodile Corner Chomper by We Are. Each one has two sizes for you to corner chomp your edges or round out your edges. This one is the one quarter inch and then the half inch. I'm going to be using the half inch. The tool actually just opens up like this and then you're going to use these wings as your guide to chomp your corners off. Okay, we're gonna do all four corners. And then of course it does have a little handy feature right there where you can throw away all the garbage. So you can just kind of dump it out, okay? All right, I'm going to add a little bit of distressing to my car just because this is a vintage line by Glitz. So of course I'm working on my nonstick craft mat and you don't ever want to sand on that. So we're going to place down our um, scrap piece of paper as well as the page that I'm going to sand. And this is just an emery block. So I'm going to sand the edges. And this just adds to the texture of the card. You can go as much or as little as you want. Okay, we're going to wipe off that dust. All right. I'm also going to do the edges of my card. Just a couple real quick swipes of the sanding block. And that gives us that edge there, just adding to the distress. All right, so now we're going to and here's our card. And on this one, I'm just kind of going in between where the eyelets are just to make sure it sticks. Oh, yeah, that's right, sorry. Just for thinking I forgot a piece, but it goes next. going to place that right there. But we're going to go ahead and round those edges as well. And there we go, our finished card. Well, I hope you guys have fun setting eyelets.